she does not fit into any stereotype. She belongs to a fringe which believes in living life by breaking rules. But if she may seem a rebel without a cause, Arundhati Roy has proven skeptics wrong by donning new roles time and again. Architect, screenwriter, filmmaker, activist, and now writer. Arundhati today writes the high crest of her life with the first book, The God of Small Things. A stirring story of twins set in Kerala, a book which has already created publishing history when international publishers offered a whopping $1.5 million for its publishing rights. The God of Small Things. As a writer, I felt that there was too much negotiation happening you know, in the process of making a film. It's really not your script that anyone ever sees, but various people's interpretation of your work. And uh, I really wanted to explore avenues that, that I couldn't explore uh, while I was writing for cinema. It was something that I, uh, I, I really enjoyed doing, actually. It, 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 it's the most rewarding thing, because I'm not a team person, really. I'm, a, I'm somebody who likes to work alone with the minimum possible amount of negotiation. And in the case of my book, there was none. It was just me and the book. I didn't know that I was going to write this book till I wrote it. I mean, till I finished it. I didn't, it's not like I imagined it in advance and said, now let me sit down and write a book. Until I started writing it, I didn't know I was going to write it. And I imagine if I ever write another book, I won't know that it's going to happen till it happens. But um, also, I, I feel completely creatively exhausted. It's not like I've squirreled something away for my next book. So I really have no means of knowing whether I'll ever write another book or not. It's on the one hand in every sense autobiographical and on the other hand in every sense not. Because I think um, you, uh, the emotional texture of the book is autobiographical and there are certain superficial links that you could make with my life. Uh, I, I was born in Kerala and I grew up in Aymanum and I loved that river and so on. Yet the characters in it, again, I know that people can and pro probably will try and make connections. Oh, this is Arundhati's mother and this is Arundhati's brother. In fact, the characters are all composites of as all characters in fiction are, um, sometimes they ricochet off a real person. The intricate way in which it's structured is not, it's not so much because of my uh, screenplay writing, it's much more because of my training as an architect. You know, I see the bones of the story very clearly and I, I took four years to write this book because of that, it, it, you know, because to me the way I tell the story is, is very, very important because my language is mine, you know, it, I don't rewrite sentences and scrabble around for adjectives and, you know, um, make many drafts or anything. It's just that it's very important and intricately structured, the book. And I don't believe that the best things about this book are filmable. I think it's a, uh, it's a very visual book, but I don't think it's visual about feelings and it's visual about the inside of your heart. It's not, a, I mean, I think it runs the risk of becoming a very crude film. Uh, I, I would be very, very worried about that. My son would rise from the dead, stand on his bed and say, Etu Kochumaria. I want people to, to leave my book with the memories of Estopan and Rahel and Amu and Baby Kochima, not memories of, of how brilliant this writer is or what a wonderful country India is or how much advanced did she get or who's publishing. I mean, these are ridiculous things to take away from a book. 
And as it is, I think my book is loaded with so much luggage because of what's been happening in the media, you know, but I, I trust it and I trust, trust the people in it. Deserved, accounted for. Little events, ordinary things, smashed and reconstituted, imbued with new meaning. Suddenly they become the bleached bones of a story. Still, 